Not sure what's happening where you are here at WJZ. We can hear the raindrops on top of the building right now. That roof taking a beating once again. <laughs> <laughs> this is a far cry from what we saw yesterday, right? Yes. Yeah, all those blue sure. skies. It just it seems like a distant memory at this mm -hmm. point. But yeah, we've got some showers in the forecast here over the next couple of days. Even a chance for some storms later tomorrow into tomorrow night. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But just some light to moderate rain here across the area. Most of it is light. Just some pockets of some yellow there showing some of those heavier downpours in some areas. But that is uh, one of the few locations. Looks like moving into the city of Baltimore right now. Uh, one of those heavier showers tracking off towards the north and east, heading up towards the beltway there. So we'll see if Towson gets in on that over the next. Uh, 30 minutes or so. Where it's been raining, though, temperatures are cooler. Look at that 60s out towards Hagerstown and Cumberland. But you get farther towards the east, particularly over the eastern shore where things are a little bit drier. It's also down to southern Maryland, temperatures running about 80 degrees. The winds have been gusty throughout the afternoon, up to 20 miles an hour out of the south. They'll continue 10 to 15 through the evening with a few scattered showers around. Temps primarily into the 70s. So if you're going to be out and about, just take the rain gear with you. But we don't expect anything overly heavy out of this batch of rain. Now, what we're looking for is upstream and believe it or not the storm system that's going to give us the storms later tomorrow this thing's in Montana right now. There it is right there with the arrow pointing at it. The upper level energy of the trigger in the atmosphere to get the storms going is going to swing across the area. Notice here by late tomorrow, it'll be approaching our area. So we expect the best chance for storms on your Wednesday to be later tomorrow, likely towards dark and maybe even after that. There is a marginal risk for some severe weather here for later tomorrow. Look at all the greens there. Very low threat, and it's going to be primarily wind that any of these storms do produce. So here's a look at your future cast. Chance for showers will continue this evening. Cold front will approach the area, but it will put the brakes on as that wave out west approaches. It's going to pull the front back northward, and then we're going to see storms here. Notice the timeline here. Late tomorrow into early Thursdays, we're going to see our best chance for some rain. That should clear the area. So it looks like Thursday afternoon is going to be fine. Friday will be fine. And then, as Bob mentioned earlier, Chance for rain will move back in here, looks like, for Friday night into Saturday. So 64 here for tonight. Chance for showers will continue. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s, rising to the mid 80s tomorrow with a stray afternoon storm. Most of the day will be fine, but the storms will likely come. At least the best chance will be later in the day. Here's a look at that first alert seven day forecast. Again, storms tomorrow, later in the period. 86. That's going to be later tomorrow, especially tomorrow night into Thursday morning, chance for an early shower, 82 Friday, and then that better chance for rain coming in for the first part of the weekend. But looks like by next week, we're going to start to warm right back up into the mid 80s. Guys, back over to you.